You do it all without breaking a sweat and you do it all in style. From being a boss exec to the Tuesday yoga to the kids' homework, family dinners, lunches, brunches, trips to the vet, and a weekend getaway that's anything but a getaway. That's why Infinity fully reimagined the QX60 to help you conquer it all with ease. Even when you have back-to-back conference calls on top of kids' basketball practices, not to mention your side hustle. A luxury SUV as functional as it is stylish and as versatile as it is serene. Available features like seating for up to seven passengers, a suite of active safety features, and massaging front seats. Introducing the all-new Infiniti QX60, designed to help you conquer life in style. Legal. Now with extremely limited availability, contact your local retailer for inventory information. Hola, and welcome to episode 84 of Word to Your Mama, Relatives 17. That is correct, the 17th episode of Relatives. Relatives is a podcast within a podcast. Relative explores the story of how a true uh, first-generation Mexican girl, that's me, and a black girl, that's Naisha, meet in South Bay, San Diego, and become relatives. We discuss black and brown unity, hip-hop, overcoming trauma, crazy movie type moments, navigating life, and so much more. Black and Brown Unity Por Vida. In this episode, we have a, an update from a, a listener friend about Euclid Avenue. Is it hood or not? If you have one in your city, let us know. Keep us posted. Uh, we also hear uh, about the supernatural bear, how he's a representation of our junior high uni- united uh Colors of Benetton crew, our first times being racially profiled. We go through those times. I go, <laughs> I discuss uh, my first time being racially profiled by police and then also by Border Patrol. Um, now she talks about her first time police, uh, you know, par for the course for people of color. And also we talk about our favorite shows from childhood and the lost art of theme songs and jingles. We talk about the Presidential Fitness Award. I couldn't remember the name for anything. And Naisha didn't know what the hell I was talking about because, excuse, she went to a private school for elementary. Um, But I said uh, push-ups, but I meant pull-ups. I think that will help it make more sense when you listen to it. So, And then the Supernatural Bear Corner, he talks about his top five jingles of all time. Are they all from, you know, recent times or are they from another time? Because he's been here before. We know it to be true. So, yeah, let's get into this episode of Relatives. Like that. that Sounds good. Yeah. It doesn't have numbers, but. Yeah. Okay. So, it's beneficial for sure. I mean, people know this, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just finding out. (laughs) I mean, you never too late. Never never too too late. late. I just do a little 15 minute warm up. It makes my day. And I can tell already. Nice. Yeah, that's insane. It's insane. But I love, then I like yoga too because it's like you're using your own body, you know, and it your body's good. heavy. Like <laughs> Yes, it's so heavy. Some of the moves I do, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I can hardly hold myself up. Exactly. It's like cuz I have I'm I've always been since I was a kid. Remember when we used to do the presidential the presidential fitness or remember we did the presidential fitness awards? Yeah, remember like elementary? Well, no, I didn't have that. You didn't have that? No, we'd have that in private school. <laughs> oh, excuse. Oh, my goodness. Bougie, bougie. <laughs> we just went to recess. <laughs> well, every year there would be the president fitness, presidential fitness. I forget what it was called, and you get a certificate. But oh. it sucked because you had to be in front of everybody. And so they it would be like, how many push-ups you could do. And if you couldn't do push-ups, you had to do the thing where you hang. You have to put your, like, uh, you're on the bar hanging and see how long you hang. And then they had a board, like, literal, a literal, like, 
a wooden board where you you're you're seated on the floor with your legs extended to see how far you can bend over. But everybody can see you. It's like the whole fucking school, dude. Right. That's crazy. That's like, <laughs> I would not fly in this day. That's like humiliation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If they, yeah, judgment. so like everybody's watching you. And then so I that's how I knew from a young age, I knew I had no upper body strength whatsoever. Because <laughs> I couldn't even do one and forget about hanging up there. Because you had to put where your chin was above the bar and oh, hang. Oh my goodness. I could barely just do... The only thing that I could do is because I was in action was when I would do the monkey bars. Is that even appropriate to say? Like, is that okay to say? The, I think the... so because monkeys actually use it. <laughs> <laughs> so the monkey bars, I was I was a pro on the monkey bars, and I was a pro on the on the rings. I don't know if you guys had the oh, big the... rings. It was a big rings, and you swing over the rings, and you skip to whatever. But yeah. That was the only time. But anything to go up. No. Forget about it. So yeah. you doing yoga, like some of the moves are kind of hard, you know? For sure. So that's great that you're doing it, there. Bradley. So yeah, I was like, I need to get my body moving. And it's insane because just like four years ago, I could do these moves or it didn't hurt when I tied my shoe or simple things. Yeah. But I'm in there. I mean, and I've been drinking this water a lot. Have you? Do you drink this? What is that? I say Gerald Steiner. I've never seen it. What is never, it? It's full of minerals. So they say, I mean, it does say that at the bottom. Sparkling water, high in mineral something, perfectly balanced. Is it, is it, uh, bubbly, carbonated? Oh, it's carbonated. No, I never, do they sell that at Trader like Joe's? Both. We do sell it at Trader Joe's, but I bought oh. it at another store. But we do sell it. I'll look it for in, our next timers. Yeah. So it's, it's really good, like with minerals. Plus, I love bubbly water and I was drinking like, aha and all those other bubbly waters i'm like i should just be drinking this and add some lemon what you need to do is get yourself a, a machine i know i i loved yours when i went to your house yeah yeah i know i've been looking at them but how do i add the minerals uh oh, the minerals yeah i mean for real but i just drink like if i'm at work i'll grab one. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. You know, i ain't even really buying a case or nothing but got yeah it, got it um, so this is a relative 17, wow. relative 17. And I wanted to, it, the ongoing theme, it sees the past couple of episodes is Euclid. <laughs> Euclid. Is Euclid hood in your city? You, you know, could if, you could this have. could be an ongoing thing. If you, if you guys are listening and Euclid is hood or even better, if Euclid is not hood, let us know because we've gotten all hoods, right? Like all, all hoods from sure. all different cities all across, not just on the West Coast. We're talking about all over. So my uh, friend, uh, Miracle, she's like really young. She's a college student. I don't, I don't think she's a mentee. So we never talked about that. So, but that's like the best way to describe it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but I, I I feel weird like you know saying that mentee like she's just a friend she's a friend a young super young friend Miracles. right um so her name's Miracle and uh, right now she's she has a summer job like a summer job internship this dope one nice. she's she's in engineering and robotics and all this stuff and she's in the ATL so she texts me and I guess she heard the one of the episodes of us <laughs> asking so I I was like oh I gotta tell Asia I gotta, I gotta put it on the next relatives and so she says I ran into my first Euclid <laughs> and I said oh I go I go oh was that nice was it semi hood was it hood she said hood deluxe <laughs> <laughs> not the deluxe <laughs> Goodness. That's hilarious. I replied, I said, ha ha ha. I was like, I'm gonna tell Naisha. I go, and we'll mention it on the next relatives. I go, was it a North Carolina or an AT? She said an ATL. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen that street there. And I probably have, and just be like, oh, okay, you could y'all gotta you could too, you know. Yeah, like it wasn't being that yeah. I frequent there. It didn't even phase you. Right. But it didn't she, even phase me. But she said it. That that she knows of, she didn't. She doesn't think they have a Euclid up in um North Carolina, at least where she, because she goes to school there. Interesting. So when she says deluxe, does that mean hella hood, super hood, yes, or super hood, hood and it's kind of gentrified? No, no, super hood, deluxe, boot on the car. She <laughs> like, yeah, like hood deluxe. Yes, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, baby, yeah. Hood Deluxe. So, yeah. So, we got another Euclid verification. 
check. Um, not off. only is it hood, but it is hood deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good description. <laughs> oh, now I'll be looking everywhere I go. But, oh, and then we can we can like tell each other Fix. if there's I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I don't know if there's one here in the desert. I'm gonna look that up to see I don't if there's think a so. Because it's not really cityish. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah. it's always more than there's a city. A metropolitan Metro, area. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. For sure. Um, and then another thing we've been talking about, and it just hit me. I think it was yesterday or two days ago at dinner, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta tell, I gotta tell my relative." <laughs> so, why? What? Why did I think of her? For some reason, I thought of Yuna, right? Yuna, shout out to Yuna. Hey, I Yuna. thought of Yuna for some reason. I forgot why, and she came up at it was dinner, and so we were talking, and then. The supernatural bird was like, who's Yuna? And I told her, I told him, I was like, you heard me. Uh, I got her told the story, you know, she's Korean. Her mom's from Korean from Korea, but her dad is Korean from Tijuana, from Mexico. Da -da. That's crazy. Um, And so we're talking about all that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, she had a really nice house and blah, blah, blah. And, and I was like, yeah, I used to love spending, we used to love spending the night. Love there. going she, over there. She had yeah. a pool. Her house and is so nice. It was really nice and a really nice area. And um, it just was cool. She probably had AC or something. Like, it just right. felt nice. It but was we didn't really need AC growing up, you know? But exactly. yeah, she probably had AC. But she probably had it. And it was just, I don't know, it just felt clean and new and it was beautiful. And and so we are talking about that. And, and I was like, oh, yeah. I go, that's the first time I realized that when my mom passed away, she's like, oh, here's a, she's, she brought me a card in, at the funeral, I guess, or before. She's like, oh, um, this from my mom. And I remember I opened it and it had money in it. And that's how I go. I remember I was a little offended. Like, I didn't understand, you know, because, you know, because they're so well off at that. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, immediately I thought, oh, she's giving money because she thinks. Here, I, poor girl. Yeah. Like, here you go. But then she was like, oh, no, that's a it's a Korean tradition. Right. Right. So that made me think about I never really realized that Yuna was like it never like I don't think of Yuna as I just think of Yuna as Yuna and I don't right. think of her as Korean until I talk about it so then I was like supernatural bear I go we were Benetton I go it was me I go and then it was Yuna she's Korean and then I the or Thea Naisha she's black and I was like we were Benetton I go but the supernatural bear you're Benetton like you are one you person, are us it. three <laughs> he goes you're right i'm korean i'm black and i'm mexican and i was that's like isn't that crazy. weird i that's never crazy. thought of like i Insane. i forget that she's that you know it wasn't like a a big thing like you know she's asian but okay yeah Be and that's just from visual visually you know being able to see her you're asian but at the end of the day us always hanging out all of us like you know oh yeah my relative's Mexican? Oh, okay. She's yeah, like, it, it wasn't, relative. like, the first thing. Yeah, exactly. We're just all friends, and I thought that was a beautiful thing. But also, oh, shit, the supernatural bear, he's all three of us. All because, three. Because, you know, hanging out with the other homegirl that I won't mention, it was, have, it was, she's half Japanese and half black. And so it was, Japanese culture has always been a huge part of my upbringing because I think about it, right? Because the food and the, the omeboshi stuff mm. and you know just like yes. everything and you know plus i was in um you know nsa nishman shoshin and koteki thai so i was like immersed in it so i think maybe that's why i always think of japanese being part of my upbringing yes for sure and, and with 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 yuna it was just i don't know it was just yeah we ate winter house and maybe ate some korean stuff but it, it wasn't a big thing like you said like it was just like oh yuna <laughs> right and i don't like i didn't hang out with her as much as you did but i'd hung out with her um, and like, I don't ever really remember, like, I remember going to your house, eating a lot, like only twice. Mexican food. <laughs> You're trying to say I spent the night twice. Only, only I spent the night I twice. I definitely was over there lots of times. <laughs> eating Doritos and cottage cheese, y'all. Oh, the so, best, <laughs> the best. <laughs> and, but I don't never really remember going to her house and like eating and hanging out, having fun, good time. Like, you know? Yeah. For me, that I don't know what you yeah, guys. Yeah, just did. a couple of times, and I, it, it wasn't hardcore either. So I think yeah. maybe that's why. Oh, and I remember now why I thought of her because I had made a uh, tomato soup from scratch, Ooh. and then I made like a like little. I didn't make um grilled cheese because I didn't have time. So what I did was a quick like cheesy butter garlic like toast, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. you know? And so we're eating and I was like, oh, this reminds me of my homegirl, Yuna, you know, because she lived in the nice neighborhood. And then on occasion, her her and her mom would take me with them to Nordstrom's. And that was fancy pants for me, like super fancy pants. And we would eat at the little cafe. I love it, the cafeteria. And yes. then get, get little tomato soup. I go, oh, excuse me. It was tomato bisque. Bisque. You know what I mean? That's cream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was all fancy pants. I go, so every time I eat this, I go, it reminds me of going to Nordstrom's. That's and, crazy. And that reminded me of Yuna. And then it, we went down the rabbit hole of, Core the supernatural memory. bear is us, the United Colors of Benetton. In Black, yeah. Mexican, Korean. Full circle. Isn't that crazy? Full circle. I was like, I gotta I gotta tell my relative and I gotta yes. talk about it on a relatives. Definitely full you circle. You never know. You never know how it all comes Those around. Memories, you're like, boom, and then you're, you're like, what? Yes. From tomato soup <laughs> <laughs> to podcasting. <laughs> uh, also, another memory, which I've said on here, but I say it again, is because she lived in a night. I go, and I'll. When I told the supernatural, he I've told the supernatural bear the story, but he was younger, so I think he heard it even more this time. I was like, yeah, I go, and if you remember, I go, that's the first time I was pulled over and harassed by police oh. because, you know, Benita's not close, and and then also thought, why didn't she go to our school and lived in Benita? Like she her could've... school was right up the street. And a bit in a better, um, like I gotta reach out to her because she was in a way better school district. <laughs> Benita at the time, it was super richy rich. She even even not private school, even a public school would have been better than our rinky yeah, dink hood little school. Right? Isn't that weird? And speaking of that, okay, you know Southwest Junior, I lived right there. But she that's it. She did she went to Benita after. She did. Remember? She did. She did. Right. So she only went to high school. I mean junior high. But and, why? And I used to have to walk from Southwest Junior to the house that was about a 30 minute walk you know 25 mm-hmm, 30 minute mm-hmm. walk and i remember clearly she was like she wanted me to wait with her i was like girl i'm gonna go she's like, my mom will give you a ride let's go blah blah, blah. i'm like i don't want to wait because my walking buddies were trying to bounce uh, uh, uh. so i was like well yeah i'll get a ride you know girl, her mom came and was like no <laughs> so i had to walk home by myself <laughs> yes she didn't give a damn i was like yeah you know goes to the car mom uh her mom was like no (laughs) like i could see her face right now no (laughs) and i was all like and she's like oh i'm sorry my mom we gotta go (laughs) you know runa runa you know she was kind of like really blunt and forward (laughs) yeah she was and i think that you know that's the korean side of her like yeah but also, like, to her parents, she was, like, to her parents, her mom, she was just kind of, like, like, did whatever, kind of. Like, did what we w- what could not do. No, no, never, never. I wish yeah. you would. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, so I was telling the Supernatural Bear, and I was like, yeah, I go, it was the first time I was harassed by police. I go, I had my first ring dink car. Remember the Jetta? The I white the Jetta, Jetta. The white Jetta. It was, like, an 81 white Jetta. And then, so I remember I was driving, and... Looking at it now, I was racially profiled and I shouldn't have stopped. I didn't have to stop, but I did. Remember how it was like hilly to go to her Super house? Super hilly, yes. And dark as fuck, right? It was at night. And it was like dusk maybe, right? And so I was driving and then I was, I remember I was scared as fuck because I was by myself and the police, it, it's just me and the police on this dark ass hilly road. And then he saw my driver's license, which says San Diego. So it so he probably was like saw me Mexican thought oh she lives in Southeast San Diego what the fuck is she doing here he asked me he goes what are you doing over here and I was like um visiting my friend she lives right uh-huh. here and I remember I said the street and he was like upset he didn't believe me and he was like make sure you don't something 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 like a dick hey that's yeah. insane I remember it clearly I remember it clearly. And I, that's when I was like, "Fuck these motherfucking cops." <laughs> yeah, yeah. My first, my first profile, I feel like came Coronado. You know how they're real strict with the um. I was crossing the bridge. Oh, say, say, say. Oh, uh-huh. but maybe it wasn't really profiled. He just thought I was a liar because you know you have to pay. Oh, the tolls. Yeah, the toll. Yes. Right. You know that doesn't exist anymore. So it doesn't. No, I haven't no, been over it in just like go straight. Just over go twenty. Oh, really? They took that out years, years ago. Uh huh. Oh, the toll I didn't part. Know. Um, so I'm rolling through and they all, I already knew cause I frequent that. So they always would do a motorcycle cop cause he can hide and see. Oh, see, see, see. So I was like, zoop, 
went through the free side because I have passengers. Uh, a passenger. Okay. AKA Mariano. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Baby, a baby in the car seat. Got it. And and so I I had like a little bit of tent, you know, a little bit. Boom, go through. He's all like, boom, pulls me over automatically because he thinks, you know, he he's ready to give me that eight hundred dollar toll ticket. Yeah, yeah. And then so I go over to the street, pull my window down a little. Yeah. And he's all, can I see your this and that? I'm like, okay. Can I ask why I'm getting pulled up? Oh, just wait a second. Like, you know, being an asshole. Yeah. And then so he gives my stuff back because, you know, I check out clean. Yeah. And he's like, well, I pulled you over because this is a carpool and <laughs> da da da. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was like, oh, really? I said, yeah, I know, sir. And no, I don't think I said sir, though. But I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. know. And then I just push the button and I roll the back window down. <laughs> in that your part. face that part he felt so stupid he was like okay yeah didn't see him but okay you guys have a good day dick he didn't like, say sorry or nothing like that, that thing fucking asshole nothing yeah he was so you know how he was come. like hoping and wishing that you you he would run your shit and if somebody yeah, would come back he was molded molded <laughs> <laughs> base in your face <laughs> he was molded <laughs> so funny um, yeah so, yeah. good old San Diego, huh? Ugh. Good old San Diego, good old being racially profiled. I remember getting sick. pulled over because it was six of us in a Monte Carlo. <laughs> by six the bo- Mexicans in six a Monte Carlo? Mexi- please, in a, brown, in a brown Auto- Monte Carlo. <laughs> you need to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> it's yeah, a six wrap. Mexicans in a brown Monte Carlo. We got That's pulled probable over. <laughs> probable <Exactly. laughs> cause. Too many motherfucking Mexicans in a brown Monte Carlo, and okay. um, and they it was a border patrol dude to check our fucking shit to make sure we were legal. COVID-19 moves fast, and now you can too. If you feel symptoms, even if they're mild, you should test fast. Test positive and at high risk for severe COVID-19? Then act fast with authorized oral treatments that can be taken at home and must be taken within five days from when symptoms begin. COVID-19 moves fast, and now you can too by asking your healthcare provider if an oral treatment is right for you. Learn about a treatment option at TreatCV19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. (laughs) (laughs) And say, la migra. (laughs) Dude, yes. Oh, my gosh. Border Patrol. That was my first. I was little, so that was my first Border Patrol racial profiling. (laughs) Oh my God! Yeah, this, this life, boy, this life. <laughs> and 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 I think because of that, and because at such a young age, I've been going across the border since I can't remember, since I was a baby, and they were always like, like don't mess around, like don't get us in trouble, like American citizen, like you gotta, you know, you gotta don't don't fuck around. They're gonna pull you over. They're gonna do shit to you. Like it was another time, you know. Sheesh. I I I think they do it now, but maybe our generation of parents don't, but. My generation and a couple and maybe one after us, our parents in, you know, Mexican culture, Latino culture, it was scare tactics. <laughs> it was mm. always like, the monster's going to get you. La señora's going to get you. <laughs> La señora's going to, like, you know, like, they're, they're going to take you away. Like, it's always like that type of tactic. Yeah, just it, talk to me. Just talk to it, me. It worked. You know what I mean? It worked. For sure. But for it also sure. caused anxiety. <laughs> Like, I, I guess for us it was the boogeyman and you know those yeah for us types it was like cuckoo el cuckoo te va a <laughs> you know so um yeah it was crazy so the supernatural bear had a question for us for oh. both of us he said what were what kind of what were your favorite TV shows that you remember and I was like well what age we I go there's so I mean we watched a grip of TV right well, he's like did. oh around the age excuse me around ten to fifteen easy like Cosby Show you know that era. We were like glued and anything, I don't know, for me, that was representing us. And not, we weren't even thinking, oh, it's representing us. It was just like, non white people on TV. Right. We could relate. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. they black. Let's, let's watch it. And then plus it was funny. And yeah. plus it was, it was everything funny, sassy, intelligent, like, yeah. So lessons learn, like, message and, yeah. And a bunch of different things. So the Cosby show, what what other shows? 
But then I, I liked all shows like, remember Silver Spoons and Silver Spoons. Uh, Different Strokes, yeah. 227. What's the one with um, Kim Fields? Facts, Facts of, of Life. life. Yeah. Um, and uh, that one. What's happening now? Family Ties. Family oh, Ties. What do we do, baby? <laughs> Without us. <laughs> Shout out to Shout out to For sure. For sure. And it, that reminds me of my coworker, Austin. Shout out to Austin. I always talk to He's all, hey, you have a podcast? I'm like, yeah, my relative does. And, you know, I, I appear on there. And. Has he, does Austin listen? I have to ask him if he listened. I don't think yet. Hola, Austin. What is Austin? Austin is white. I think, but Caucasian like, persuasion. Caucasian. Austin. That's my bro right there. That's my dude. Um, Gay straight. But, do we? Know? Oh no, he's all the way straight. Okay, but he's in the industry, so he knows a lot about a lot. Ah. And he tricks me sometimes. Today he was rapping like some '80s, like New York rap. I didn't even know it. And he was like, and, but I knew the beat, like, like, yeah, we were doing that. <laughs> we were in, like, he's putting the stuff away. He's like, but <laughs> and how he, old is Austin? <laughs> he's like our age. Oh, oh that's he might why. be a few years older, but he's like our age. Long hair. Amaya calls him Jesus Austin because we have another Austin, so he's Jesus Austin. So, um, he's hilarious. That's my dude. He knows a lot, so we relate all the time. And I'll ask him different things. I'll put him up on game if he doesn't know. I'm like, do you know what da 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 is? Or like, he'll be like, no. But sometimes I'll ask him, he'll be like, yeah. And he'll come with the answer. And I'm like, that's my dude. You're learning. You're it, learning. Is he, is he from, a, born and raised in that area? Or is he from a, no, someplace else? No, but he lived in Cali. Ah, uh, makes a sense. Lot. Makes worked sense. For, worked for um, a network. Mm, mm, mm. So you know, like I said, he's in the industry. He yeah. knows. He knows what's up, bro. Like nice. Well, I hola, Austin, Austin. If you listen to this, yes. hola. Um. Oh yeah, Jesus Austin. Yes, he looked like if he lived in Cali, he lived. He would have lived in Silver Lake. Silver Lake for sure. For yeah. sure. <laughs> for sure. He's all about it. He's about nice. that life. That's what um. Doing. What other shows? There were so many, man. We we were like TV junkies for sure. And also, I was telling the supernatural pair we didn't have streaming, so we 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 didn't have that much of selection. So we but, had a TV guide. But if we, we yeah exactly old school TV guide, and and if we love something, then we just had to wait every week. Oh, mm -hmm. Pee Wee's Playhouse was my jam. That was good, right? It's still good. I watched it. I made I made the supernatural pair. Is it a new it. one? No, no, it's the same one. Okay, I'm like, but what? all all of them were on Netflix, and Hilarious. he loved them, and then. And then I think we might have talked about it on here. At the end, it makes me sad. The little song at the end where he gets on the bike and the little do do do. It does makes it me make sad. Me sad. It makes me so sad because I remember I loved I loved it so much, and I was like, oh, he's so creative, and he makes me feel so happy. And it was ending. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because we couldn't yeah. it couldn't we couldn't stream it and watch it again. I had to wait a whole nother week. Or, you know what I mean? And it was right. like rare to get something that you love that much. And I don't know. I didn't, and it sounds sad. And it still makes me sad to this day. So what I was telling the supernatural bear. And so now he feels like it's sad. So when, since he was little, <laughs> we haven't watched it in a while, in, a, a long, in many years. But when he remembers all of them. But when we used to watch him when he was little, he would come at the end and always look for me to hug me. <laughs> that is too cute. Too freaking cute. And did, did, I don't have to play. Super cute. Um, So stuff like that. Because he was. You know, I introduced him to Transformers, mm -hmm. and now he's a you know a Transformers expert. Like he takes Transformers uh -oh. classes, and he, oh, like is he know because there's so many Transformers things. Like we just had yeah. the TV show and the movie, right? But then all the Transformer movies, and then with all the animations. So he's like, I was like, yeah, I go. I don't know if the nice should watch Transformers. I go, but I did. I didn't he, like it because I didn't understand it, oh. and I used to try. I'm like Voltron, um, Decepticon. I don't, I can't tell them apart. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> And then I just I just chalked it up to this is for boys, <laughs> so I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> I tried to watch it, tried, tried, but no, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so like, like shows like that, Thundercats, and, I mean, all the good cartoons, like GI Joe. I wasn't a big fan of it, but I probably just watched some of it. Um, remember the sure. Littles? Yes, 
We, we are, are the littles. The littles. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I thought and they were super cute. Didn't you feel like they were real? Yes, totally. And I'll be like looking around. Like, do I see little doors? Do I see this little... <laughs> Any little the crack littles. they could be in? Yes. yes. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Just show, shows like that. And then... um. For sure, oh. Cosby Show, the uh, Different World, jingles. the jingles. We don't have that. that. And that's what Austin and I do all the time, jingles. Like, he'll be jingles. like, uh, in commercials. Commercials, yeah. Commercials. At one time, we're in the break room, and he's all, uh, double A. And I go, MCO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. He double started, A, <laughs> burr, burr, MCO. MCO. <laughs> and then, like, he was doing something, and I was cooking, but he just, like, said it. And then I was like, MCO. Like, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, my. and I try to tell him about when you wanna da 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 go see gal and na 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 go see gal. gal and I told him we thought it said pussy pussy cow, cow totally <laughs> cow Worthington and his dog spot <laughs> <laughs> like is this dude ever gonna die like it it seemed like he lasted a long time yeah he lasted a long time he lasted a long I time. have um uh, the S and B's Uncle Mister D he's from San Diego and just randomly. Any time of day, any time of year, he'll he'll text me or he'll give me give, send me a voicemail, and he'll just put Masinisa, <laughs> Masinisa, and then and then I'll call Masinisa. him back. up. Nisa moves you. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the other one like? You love it, I love it. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> or or he'll be like. Cafeteria, cafeteria, <laughs> and then and then another one oh is my um, gosh. it's it, it, it's it's specific to San Diego. Do you remember Boot World for working for playing? Boot World, uh, we're number one in boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's because old boy had you watching crazy shit on TV. <laughs> but, but Mr. D knew that too because it was boot, boot World. And then the other one, which was, it's LA and over there, it's, um, it's Boot World. Uh, Stater Brothers. <laughs> I do remember that. That was a grocery store, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stater Brothers. I never even shopped there. <laughs> I mean, neither. Me neither. I still don't. There's one over here. Hell no. So funny. Oh, so it's just like those jingles, they never go away. You always They're remember in your them. Head. They're in your you know, head. You, you know which one I, um, the Supernatural Bear, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll ask him to, if he can do it at the Supernatural Bear Corner for this episode. But I always sing the zest. You're zest, not fully clean, clean unless, unless you're, you're zestfully zest fully clean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I know the whole thing, and now he does. Where it's like, you're, it's hard to get clean in hard water. <laughs> and you're in hard water town. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds country. What the hell? <laughs> you're not fully clean unless you're zestfully zest clean. clean. Yes. Oh, my God. And I, I think the, this is, I guess it's a jingle of sorts, but... Not really. So maybe my first Spanish words were from the radio. And then at the end, they're like, Baja California, Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think we might have talked about it before. All the radio stations in San Diego at the time, they were actually broadcast from Tijuana. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. So every time at midnight, all the radio stations, you'd Static. hear... The, the no the Mexican national anthem and, yes, da, yes, yes, da, yes, yes. right so, da, da, da. so they all say um 91x pa California Mexico like you know because they were broadcast I don't know if that's still the case but that used to be the case I feel um, like I heard that the last time I was there Baja California, Mexico. Mexico. Girl, I thought I was doing it, girl. Your girl bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> bilingue. Puro bilingue. I knew a little phrase. That's it. Um girl. Yeah, so uh, well, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember at the time because I was just thinking about all the jingles. The dog. Oh. <laughs> Try to tell Yaya, get him. But yeah, there's there's so many. Like, it's crazy how they'll just come to me. I'll just be watching TV or something. Boom, remember. Exactly. All the core memories. <laughs> exactly. It's funny. Yeah, I, I was telling the supernatural. Bear, I was like, you, you missed out, man. We had some some great. We had some great stuff. Yeah, the stuff these days. Hmm. 
Like, I don't even know if they make zest. It was, a, I go, it was a bar. He goes, what do you mean soap? I go, it was a bar of soap. We don't even use that in the house. Like a I bar of I've soap to clean it. your body. That shit I probably had lead it. in it. Yeah, it probably yeah. had lead in it. it probably I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it's like Irish Spring a little, but Irish Spring that used to be my jam. I yeah, love the way that smells. That's back still in the my days. jam. I'll get a bar here and there. There, I didn't here. know that was still existed. Yeah, but you know, uh, just you better watch out for down there. Just use it on your arms and stuff. Oof. I have, I haven't used a bar since maybe I had to at a hotel or something because I oh, really I just like you like bubbles like you like liquid. Yeah, it's all pump stuff. Yeah, it's all. I get the Trader Joe's. Which one? The Trader Pump, Joe's b- body, the big uh-huh. one. Yeah, I love that one because I don't I like I don't like fragrances. Yeah, so I like that one because there's hardly anything uh, any fragrance. Facts, you're right, you're right. And it's but not irritating. It doesn't bubble up. I don't know. I like bubbles, and it doesn't bubble up enough for me. Oh yeah, I just need to be clear. I don't. It doesn't have to bubble up too much for me. Um. Yeah, man. So the uh, are we good? What do we think? We good? This is so funny. Oh. I mean, I don't know if this it relates to our last, um, our last episode. Oh, what's the update? I was I was looking. I've been looking. I thought you were super sleuth. You were master even, sleuth. No, this person is incognito. Like oh. I even I did the most trying to reactivate my Facebook account. Oh, even to do that, to try to, to do it. it. Yes, insane. It. And you know what else I re um activated? Yahoo. What? All to try to find nothing. I don't know. Are they not here? Are they in prison? Are they what, what's going on? Like, did you fall off the face of the earth? You know his last name? Yes. From okay. what I last knew. Yeah. But Okay, so we're we were talking if you listen to the last relatives, I'll have a link to the last relatives. It's when I get suspended. Uh, for getting a fight with uh, my relative's boyfriend at the time. This was high school. And so we're talking, she was going to, her her assignment was <laughs> to find him and to ask him, or even better yet, ask him to be on the show to tell his side of the, st- punk-ass side of the story <laughs> of what happened. So no, so. I couldn't find any leads. And, you know, once he left, I'm, he wasn't really friends with anyone. Mm. From like our little crew, yeah, quote like unquote. We had, we had a little crew at school. Air quotes. Yeah, nobody, nobody knows. And I don't even talk to a lot of people, but a few people I did reach out to, but nobody knows. And I couldn't find nothing. It's crazy how I can't find it. Usually, you're good on it. <sighs> I'm losing my touch. Well, I, I know you're not going to give up. We'll continue. We'll continue. continue the quest. This continue ain't nothing the but quest. A thing. This ain't nothing but a if fight. anyone's listening that remembers that no that remembers us, remembers that incident, and knows who we're talking about, if you have any any information, hmm. please let us know, and please let that person know we're trying to get a hold of. We're them. looking for you. We're looking for you. We're, we're trying to get your side of the story. You, this Maybe. is a chance to tell your side of the story. Right, right. Maybe my girl Liz got a little info. I don't know. We'll oh, see. Oh, yeah, hit up Liz. I'll hit, her. I'll hit Liz up. We always talk. How, so, so, yeah, how's she doing? Yeah. She's still in she, San Diego? She's good. She's good. Yep, San Diego. She's all. She's in the hospitality industry. Oh, excuse me. Excuse yeah, she's been doing that for a minute. So, yeah, Liz is cool. Oh, nice. So, I might okay. see who she knows because she knows a lot of people. Yeah, she's still in the city. So maybe maybe he's in the city, but maybe he's just off social media or something. Or maybe he yeah. did go to the what what's the what's the the current slang? Prison. The, the pen. Cl- the pen. <laughs> uh, the pen. The you clink. got locked up. The, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just think they're like, Oh, I'm going away. Yeah. Where? I, I did a bid. Uh, right. I gotta do a bid. I gotta um Yeah, that ain't my life, so I don't even know. Exactly. You know, it's hard. Yeah. I don't know that. Don't know that. <laughs> trying to find out. Like that. Mm, don't know that. You're mm-hmm. not trying to find out, but you sure be getting in fights. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was laughing so hard, right? I, I was doing yoga and you know, it's only 15 minutes. I'm like, okay, I need to do some kind of hit training because uh, I've been do- I've been working out. So I'm looking for places. I'm like, oh, okay, they got some dancing ones, right? Yeah. Girl, off of that dancing one, I was like, it was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> I was like, is this what they're talking about? Like, uh, I felt like I can get it. Like, I can get moves when I see them, like, all out. Not like one and two and kick yeah. it up. Uh, uh. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm claiming it. I can't do that. But I can do it when it's time to do. 
So, yeah. I, I think it's very interesting that as we were talking, how you are the host carrier of fights, how I always would get jumped, <laughs> and then um, Sonic would always get jumped later in life, <laughs> right? And then you were like the scary, not getting a fight chick. And then you grow up, and then you're in the fight. You're getting the in fight In the fight chick. club, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Fight club, number Hilarious one. Hilarious how tables have turned, how yeah. tables have turned. But it's all good. I'm growing, and, you know, I'm starting no fights, but, you know, I ain't scared. I ain't never Because <laughs> you scared. were just in one, bitch, <laughs> at Halloween. <laughs> so next Halloween, <laughs> I'm chilling. That's why I stay home, for real. I stay home. Yeah. Because people are rude, and I'm not scared to tell you you are exactly so exactly. here we are so but here yeah. we are all right then Riley. i think that's good next time i mean we got a little sidetracked this episode but next time hopefully you have some good news some yes. some traction on the investigation on your sleuthing with little, homeboy put a more time put a little more time into this i'm gonna get focused focus yeah. like laser focus once i didn't find him on facebook i was like ah like i feel like facebook is like the dictionary to boom but it's dead. Like, I'm out of there, dude. Like, as I'm, soon I've as been out of there, too. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Me, too. That's why I don't hate know who anyone's birthday. If anyone's important, I know your birthday. Yeah, for sure. Because I know your birthday. Everything else is Because I know like... you and your birthday. Exactly. So, yeah, it's. I was just talking to a young girl today, and we were talking about something like this as a customer. Mm -hmm. I was like, but wait. I was like, oh, cooking. Uh -uh. I said, well, do you have Facebook? She was like, I said, oh, that's for old people. She's like, yeah, that's for old people. I said, yeah, that's why I don't have it. Ah, uh, exactly. Because <laughs> like, I'm not old. Right. And so she was saying that, she was like, yeah, Snapchat, but that doesn't show me. Um, she wanted to get, like, recipes. Mm. So she was saying Instagram and something else, but I can't remember. And I was like, not oh, TikTok? really? Not TikTok? Oh, yeah, TikTok. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was like, TikTok. I'm like, uh, TikTok. Oh, but, speaking of TikTok. I, I do you know, did you get that thing of who I was going to interview? Yes. Do you follow her? No. She's dope, man. She's dope. Okay, I'll so, follow. I'm yeah. not all the time on TikTok. I just kind of get on there to try yeah, to fall there. asleep, but yeah, that don't that, happen. That's the wrong but, move. Yeah, that is definitely the wrong move. So I will follow her. I saw the video that you sent. And I was weak. She was cussing. I was like, that's my kind of girl. Yeah. So Sonia Valencia, she, I interviewed her. She said yes. And so she's going to be on a future episode. I'm hella hyped because she's one of the nice. first people that I followed that I saw that was like real and was super real. Super doing, real. She, she's 44 and she was doing, she was just be, keeping it real for those of us that are 40 and over. And uh, she cusses up a storm. I and I was worried. I was like, am I going to like her? Are we going to like each other? Or are we going to hate each other? Because, you know, sometimes when you're too similar, sometimes. Yes. And, and she was great. We had a great time. Nice. And then we wrapped it up. We talked a little bit more uh, off, off, you know, off air, quote unquote. And she was dope. So it was funny. I can't wait for you guys to be able to hear her Hilarious. episode. She keeps it real. She keeps it real, real. Um, Only and way, I'm super baby. excited because she's, you know, she's doing so well. Like she moved to L.A. and all know, people, from TikTok. All from TikTok, dude. All from TikTok. I love it. She's a Sephora ambassador. She has all these Sephora? big Sephora? Yeah. 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 I watched her glow up. That's why it was amazing. That's why I was like telling my homegirl. I was like, she's like, she found her on Instagram, but I had been already been following her forever on tick on the TikTok. And I was like, oh, I've been following her forever. I've been wanting to ask her to be on the show. But I think she she moved to LA now. And I think she probably has an agent she was or a like manager. I mm -hmm. thought, you know, I thought she kept, she stayed the same, but I thought she, there would be too many channels to go through, you know? And then, uh, yeah, she talks about on the episode that people have asked her. She's like, nah, she's like, until I can't handle it. She's like, I do my own motherfucking shit. She's like, I'm okay. a hustler. She goes, I can do my emails. I read the contracts. I blah, 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 blah. And we're talking about that. So she, yeah, she responded. I remember, because, you know, I just know people's faces, but she responded to my email and I was like, who the fuck is Sonia? I don't know a Sonia. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> right. And then I was like, and she was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be totally happy. To, I'll totally down to go and be on your podcast. And I was like, who's that? And I was like, oh, holy shit. Nice. I yeah, love so it. I just did it yesterday. So I told her to come out in a couple of weeks because I'm already like booked up with the stuff. But I got it in the bag and she was dope. Bam, 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 and I'm really happy for her. So yeah, it should be should be great. You guys know who I'm talking about if you guys are on TikTok. 
and she has like a huge following on Instagram and stuff too. But she keeps it real, and uh, yeah. So I'll let you know about that. Excited show. about that. Yeah, go Riley. All right, Riley. Um, All right. Good luck with your search. Hope you hope it's a fruitful mission, yes. and you yes. come up with some shit. I At will. least some type of info. Uh, it would be a real amazing if you get them on. Okay. Um, and we can relay it. And then we get into a verbal altercation. <laughs> You've already foreseen it. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You we all, we, we're, oh, we've you all grown. <laughs> we've all grown. She want to fight, y'all. She want to fight. <laughs> it ain't even happen. She wants to fight. Just because I, if I hear that voice, I know you said it's deeper, but if there's any remnant, any remnants of that original voice, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> oh, that girl stay ready. She stay ready. <laughs> All right, then, Riley. All right, that's been real. It's been real. <laughs> Bye. And now, introducing the Supernatural Bear Corner. Supernatural Bear. Hello everyone, I am the SNB or the Supernatural Bear, and today for the SNB Corner, we are going to be taking a look at my top 5 favorite theme songs from cartoons, movies, um, video games, everything like that. My mom and Thea and Aisha were um, talking about some jingles for like commercials and stuff commercials and tv shows from the 80s yeah um commercials and tv shows from the 80s and so i thought i'd do my own list but based on something that i have more of um so yeah let's do this so number five we're going from five to one by the way number five um phineas and ferb fans may notice this little jingle Doofus Brown Stable Incorporated. That is like, um, kind of like the Doofus Merch jingle from a show called Phineas and Ferb. Really love the series. Um, and I just really think it's a um, nice jingle. Especially the slightly longer version, you know. Where evil is not to pay tax. Really cool. Um, however, unfortunately, it does not have um a really high spot on the list so sorry about that um next up is the iron man theme yes the classic iron man theme you know tony stark he's iron man tony stark he's iron man <laughs> uh yeah that theme really nostalgic really awesome and I just love it. Um, however, again, I am more of a Transformers fan. I wasn't really a Marvel fan until, like, the MCU. That's what really got me into Marvel. No, it was Spider-Verse. Yeah, that got me into Marvel. Um, so, still, there's three left currently. So, number three would probably have to be the Star Wars theme. We all know it. We all love it. And, um, yeah, it's just, like, a absolutely amazing, you know, classic, vintage, pretty much, you know, um, dun, 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 um, apologies for the bad voice impressions. And theme song impressions for this. I'm not a pro singer. Um, so yeah, that's spot three. Spot two would probably have to be the classic 1984 Transformers theme. You know, da 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 Cause you know, if you couldn't tell already, I'm a huge Transformers geek. And finally, number one, my all-time favorite, like theme song. It's like above God level, like made by Sideways himself. Would probably have to be. Everyone loves it. 
Everyone knows it, especially if you live in San Diego. It is this. Cause it's hard to get clean without water. And you're in a hard water town. Something I don't know the lyrics. You're not fully clean unless you're just fully clean. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, so that would be number one. Definitely number one. No, it's not actually number one. Take this with a grain of salt. Unconfirmed by SNB. Because I'm definitely not an imposter. This is definitely not a voice changer. Um, so yeah, this is the SNB corner and SNB definitely signing off. Bye guys. Definitely not hacking. Shibidoos. Yeah. There it is. Episode 84 of Word to Your Mama. I was about to say relative. But relative 17. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So, you know, if you let us know, when was your first time you were racially profiled? Was it when you were a kid, a teen, an adult? Because if you're of color, it has happened. It has happened to you. Most likely. Most likely. So, you know, DM us, uh, tweet us, send us an email, smoke signal, whatever. Let us know. We would like to know. And also, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna keep going on this Euclid situation. If you're listening to this when this drops on Monday, it's the Monday the 20th, June 20th, then the day before was a Father's Day. And I just want to make a note on how therapy is working, kids. Therapy is working because I, I remember I tweeted and I think I posted on IG that I did not post some passive aggressive raged filled um Father's Day post that was really you know if you strip it all down and 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 you see the root the levels it was really aimed all those posts looking back I was like I've been good I'm fine I never had an issue when I look at the posts that I would do for Father's Day, it would be, you know, for my to my to the supernatural bear's father, my husband, and I would always, always for years put a little something passive aggressive, ragey in there, you know, like something, something. Those fathers that are doing what they're supposed, like a bunch of stuff like that. So I haven't in a couple of years, and why is that, folks? Because I'm in therapy. <laughs> because I'm in therapy, and it's growth. I am okay. I'm working through it. It's a practice, right? But I just wanted to point that out. Give myself some kudos because it's significant. Where I'm not, it's not like, oh, I want to do it, but I'm not going to do it because I've grown. No, it's like, I don't even, there's like no desire. So I just like, you know, let me just celebrate myself that I did not, that I haven't actually, I haven't done it in a couple of years ever since I, you know, started going to therapy again and dealing with those specific issues. And soon, at some point, when I feel okay, I think I'm going to do a, a, a biological father on my side centric episode. And I think I want to have a professional, a therapist on there to talk about the certain issues. Because, you know, there was someone on Twitter today that I don't know her. She, you know, we just started following each other and she posted how she had, she saw pictures of her father for the first time in over 40 something years because she said something about her, her mom changed their name and they moved and like, she never knew anything, but she, she, she didn't even know what he looked like. And I, I reached out, she doesn't know me. And I was just like, Hey, I saw your tweet. And I, same thing happened to me. I saw my biological for the first time, I think it's like three years now, three years ago now, for the first time, I was like, I know there's levels. There's levels. <laughs> I don't know what her story is. She didn't know what my story is, but I know that there's levels. To see a picture of the person that you have 50% of the DNA, it's wild. It is wild. I'm still processing. Like I just shoved it out of my head that I didn't have it. So anyways, uh, yeah. So to wrap it up, <laughs> in conclusion... <laughs> uh yeah it's it's been good it's 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 been good guys therapy um therapy guys it works so thank you so much for the support thank you for listening 
uh, it, you know, you can go to the store. You can be a patron. You can buy us a whiskey through buy me a coffee. You can do something that's free. Leave a review. Five stars it on Spotify. If you're on good on good pods, you know, five star on there. Leave leave a review. Also, something else that's super duper free. Tell your folks. Tell your peeps. Tell your friends. Email us with any comments, questions, and we'll make sure to to address them next month on Relatives 18. And as always, we reap. Word to Your Mama is owned and produced by Ritzy P. Intro Beat, produced by Nico Beats. If you want to know more, or you want to email us, you want to get the media kit, go head over to wordtoyourmama.com. Word to Your Mama is now part of the Latina Podcasters Network. And as always, Word to Your Mama is brought to you by RitzyPerrowinkle.com.